This is Doombox, and I'm going to tell you about cartography. Exploration tips, often missed places when mapping, and some strategies, and of course, text mod. Chances are, if you're watching this, you already know what cartography is, but just in case, let's go back to the basics. Basically, cartography is exploring the map. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Basically, any area viewable when looking at the world map counts towards the title. That includes explorable areas, mission areas, arenas, towns, and outposts. If you hit H on your keyboard and go to titles, you'll be able to check out all the titles. There's four cartography titles altogether, one for Tyria, one for Cantha, one for Ilona, and one for all of them put together. So you can get four titles that way. On there you'll notice that there's a percent, that's obviously how close you are to completing it. Every little tiny bit counts. You have to scrape the edges of every map and uncover every single area until it gets to 100%. I'll go in deeper how to do that in a bit. So that's basically all of what cartography is. Now I'm going to give you some tips. Okay, the first tip is to scrape. You probably know what scraping is, but for those who don't, this is scraping. Basically, you just go to the edge of the map and like run towards it while moving in a single direction. Getting from 90 to 100 percent is harder than getting from 1 to 90 percent. You might have to revisit every single explorable area on the continent. You're gonna need to scrape the walls also keep in mind that everything adds up. While there's some places that might seem insignificant that you don't need to visit, everything adds up. Scraping the outside of a wall you haven't scraped before can produce 0.1 to 0.2% even though it won't like, make any of that fog on the map go away. Yeah, 0.2 whole percent. The next thing is, some places have extravagant turns and jagged edges and stuff like that, a typical run facing the wall will not be enough. So in situations like that, do this. I know it doesn't seem like it'll do anything, but trust me, it helps. Also, don't forget about the missions. In Cantha, most missions have an explorable area version of them, but in Tyria, you're gonna have to go back and do the actual mission again. And also, don't forget about towns and outposts. Those count on the map also. Now I'm gonna go over some commonly missed places for all the continents. There's a huge whole list of like tons of places on the wiki, but I'm just gonna read the most important ones to you because we don't have time. Okay, starting in Tyria, we have the Great Northern Wall. Right up here, in this area, when the char come after you, you run back into their like little fortress thing, and there's a huge area that you can uh, uncover. That uncovers a bunch for you right there. There's this part in the wilds that you can see I haven't even uncovered yet. I still have yet to do that, and then down here in Bloodstone Fen, if you run past the Justicar, you can get this little part right north of the outpost. As you can see, I have not gotten that either. And then we have the Dunes of Despair. Right here, this whole area down there can be explored, which, again, I haven't done yet. I haven't gotten to tear you up for my mapping. And then we have the Thunderhead Keep at the end when you're defending the king. Don't talk to him, just go off and you can explore that entire northern area right up here. 
Okay, in Chantha we have the Dragon Festival place that you can only get during the, you guessed it, Dragon Festival. Now that's, you can get 100% without that area, but it, it just helps to have them covered, so next Dragon Festival slash boardwalk slash whatever they do that opens up that little place, go down there and map it. We have the infamous Fort Aspenwood and Jade Quarry, which nobody ever does. I managed to do both of those back when people actually did them, so fortunately I got to uncover those, but then I had to go back and scrape them. So I just got a guild slash alliance group together to all go in together. It might be kind of hard to get in there. On Waking Waters, people forget to go back into the explorable area. Simple as that. Rhea's Crater is a forgotten explorable area when it comes to mapping. The area is there, and then we have the Arios Mines and little stupid mission things that nobody ever does that you go in and explore. Okay, right out here in the Mai Shang Hills, we have a special little glitch-like thing that will get you a lot explored on the map. Okay, go do the... You kind of have to be in a Kurzik guild to do this, or a Luxon guild with a Kurzik zone in this place. You need to be in the opposing faction. Talk to the priest and tell him, let's duke it out, or whatever it says. And you fight them. Except not... Except then flag your heroes away from the whole thing. And take down everything but the merchant. Don't kill the merchant because you need the merchant. Okay, the merchant, the coward that he is, should run back into the town. So you just shadow step to him. And then you're inside the Mai Shang Hills, but you're not inside the Mai Shang Hills. So then you just walk up to the little gate that is owned by the guild that owns the place and pop right through it and you have yourself a explorable place. Yeah. Actual fog might not go away, but you uncover a ton this way. So this saves you from leaving your guild. Alright, then in Ilona, we have the Chebek village for non inborn characters. You can go back to that mission, and the Sunspear Arena is also missed, and the Xingjie Arena also in Kantha. You just talk to the arena guard and explore the area. For Ilona, I cut this short just to save the boringness of this. Again, there's a huge list on the wiki. These are just the mo ma main important parts that are mainly missed. So, check the wiki out if you're still looking for places. This is just a little, yeah.